For Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss, her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow, sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless guards and bursting flesh. You, supplicant, what tribute do you bring to honor the Wave Mother's fallen daughter? A layperson's prayers. Good, but earnest. Your tribute is well received. Breathe deep as she permits. Yes. Thank the way, Mother. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare her an ignoble death. But her passing was not as the way Mother intended. It was a beast who took her life. An unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly. A wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her, and her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. Salt kiss your brow. We await your return and the beast master's demise. Glorious way. Is it done? As the wave mother will. Marek will Sleeping never let you the absolute like blockade is risky business. Everybody pays. We have two children. We can't make a split up the family. The crew and I are risking our lives. I'm not doing this for charity. Hells, it's every west. I don't suppose you've got any experience getting oil out of sealed wood. Of course not. You've been talking to that lot from the Water Queen's house, haven't you? Now, did you want something, or do you just have an interest in fishing vessels? Oh, sure. In fact, we fished her out of the water. Me and Flea here were out on the water casting our nets, expecting to find the usual crop of halibut. Then, all of a sudden, my net starts dragging, and there's a bloody wave serving all twisted up in it. We took her back to the docks to try and help her, but she was already dead. The other wave servants came to get it. Uh, her. Sorry. <laughs> they took her back to the temple. You can hear the bloody caterwauling from here. We both saw some sort of wake moving towards the docks when we picked her up. But there weren't any other boats around. Maybe it was something big moving underwater. I don't know. It was weird, whatever it was. Kind of looked like it might have been heading towards that building across the channel, actually. 
We'll get it far north. Might be something to do with all that oil in the water. It's too bad we can't sell them. Bloody waste, if you ask me. The boat's fine, but the nets are in tatters. Need to deal with all this oil before we can fix them, though. wandered into a forbidden area. Mind if I do? No one stopped me yet. Yes, yes. 